In other news, uh, well, in the meantime, 79 Zambians uh, who were evacuated from Ukraine after the Russian invasion have arrived home. Uh, some 16 Zambians have opted to remain in Europe after changing their minds uh, at the last minute. The Zambians, primarily students, touched down Tuesday night at Zambia Air Force Air Base in Lusaka and were received by Foreign Affairs Minister Stanley Kakubo and other government officials. Kakubo thanked Zambians for their patience and said the country would update the remaining few students. Now we uh, Mukum Buta, a Zambian journalist who has been monitoring developments, joins me now on Continental Prime. Uh, good to see you and thanks for your time. Tell us uh, what uh, uh, has been the mood like for these returnees? Well, I'm afraid you have to you have to uh, unmute your device, please. Well, thank you very much uh, for having me. You're welcome. Yes, so um, the situation uh, here in Zambia, um, uh, it has been uh, received uh, with, um, uh, with jubilation, especially from families, uh, members of those uh, students who are studying in Russia. So uh, previously, the government had uh, made uh, efforts to see to it that um, those willing to come back to Zambia uh, are evacuated, they are given a self passage uh, to, uh, to neighboring countries such as uh, Poland, uh, which has been one of the routes where many African students have been using. So, uh, the Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs uh, in the last two weeks has been giving the nation updates on how they are going to evacuate uh, these uh, students. But uh, unfortunately, we have uh, a couple. Um, a couple number of our students who have uh, opted to stay on uh, in Ukraine due to uh, various reasons which themselves um, they have not provided to the Zambian authorities. So this has um, uh, prompted um, many sectors uh, of society here in Zambia to speculate whether government has not uh, reached out to them. But uh, the Foreign Affairs Minister Stanley Kakobo uh, has been uh, updating the nation that uh, it is doing a, uh, everything uh, within its powers to see to it that uh, these students are evacuated from uh, Ukraine. Well, we, uh, let me jump in here. So you know, now, uh, uh, allow me to jump in over a bit. Uh, apologies. Uh, these students are fleeing a war zone, and some may have been traumatized. Uh, is there some sort of medical attention that has been put in place? for such people? Well, for those who are still trapped, maybe because of uh, they cannot uh, uh, pass through uh, these uh, war-torn uh, places, uh, the medical aspects uh, or any other uh, assurances as, as it stands now, government has not provided uh, a clear indication or a clear guidance uh, as to whether those who are still in uh, Ukraine uh, are being given any sort of assistance. What the authorities here have been saying is that uh, it has been providing uh, uh, self-passage uh, through, uh, through Poland, to those who can go to Poland and then them being picked up there. So for those who are still there, government has not yet uh, provided uh, any uh, further guidance. There was some uh, local media reports uh, uh, with one of the uh, private uh, television station which quoted two Zambians who said that uh, government has not been sincere with regards to giving information uh, 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 on the evacuation of um, uh, of students.